God had specially guarded the Bible. I am asking for what? Yet, when copies of it were few, learned men had in some instances changed the words in the original manuscripts. They changed the words, thinking that they were making it plain, when in reality they were mystifying that which was plain, by causing it to lean to the established views which were governed by tradition, like the Jehovah's Witnesses. They have produced a translation called the New World Translation. The Orthodox, you don't accept that. Why don't you? Because they have their own leanings. According to their own ideas, they are changing the words. Same thing that the Protestants did. They were people who believed in Jesus as God. So they said, now, they change the words. So we said, this is, has been going on from the very beginning. We believe that Moses wrote what is called the Pentateuch, those first five books, with the exception, possibly, of the last few verses in Deuteronomy. And he could have even written that because we believe that God, and I know Islam believes, that God is so powerful that he could have revealed to Moses exactly how he would die and exactly how that his funeral would be conducted, that would have been no problem for God. But whether he wrote it or whether Joshua wrote it, it was written about 3,500 years ago. The first five books, supposed to be the books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. These revisers, scholars of the highest eminence, they are telling us today that Moses didn't write the books. He didn't write the books. He's not the author. It's the author, Genesis, author, the first book of Moses in inverted commas. Exodus, second book of Moses in inverted commas. Leviticus, third book of Moses in inverted commas. Numbers, fourth book of Moses in inverted commas. Deuteronomy, fifth book of Moses in inverted commas. I'm asking why the inverted commas? What for? Why these inverted commas? They are telling you in a very, very diplomatic, psychological way that these are not our words, we don't believe so, but the common man, the laity, the preachers, the Bible thumpers, the hot gospelers, this is what they believe. That these are the books of Moses, but Moses didn't write them. We don't believe that these are his words, so we put them in inverted commas. It's not the book of Moses. There are more than 700 times in these five books you read the expression, and the Lord said unto Moses, and Moses said unto the Lord, and the Lord said unto Moses, and Moses said unto the Lord. Neither the Lord said this, nor did Moses write it. English, this is your language. This is written in the third person. Not by God, not by Moses. If Moses wrote it, he would have said, the Lord said unto me, and I said unto the Lord. The Lord, I, or the Lord says, I said unto Moses, and Moses said unto me. This is in the third person, and that somebody else is writing about these things. It is not the word of God. It is not even the words of Moses. With regards to the obituary, I found out from Jewish scholars that Jewish prophets didn't write the obituaries. You know, before dying, he says, you know, on my tombstone, you put these words, epitaphs. Jews didn't, didn't do that. In the book of Deuteronomy, it says, my brother admits that it could be the works of Joshua. But they're supposed to be the books of Moses. How does Joshua fit in? It says, and there Moses died in the land of Moab. Died in the past tense. Over against Beth Peer. And no man knoweth of his sepulchre unto this day. And Moses was, he was 120 years old when he died. Now, some mention about the many versions of the Bible. Really, that's an incorrect statement. There is only one version of the Bible. There are many translations. Our scholars argue constantly over varied translations. King James Version 
as we use that term, as I've mentioned incorrectly, is really a translation. Others have been put out. They were critical of the King James. Even to the point of laboring incessantly to derive the Old Testament from the Hebrew in which it was written, minus a few verses in Aramaic, and the New Testament in Greek. Translation, some are incorrect, we think. I personally like the King James. And Brother Swagat has given us to understand that translations and versions are one and the same thing. We Muslims, we have a number of translations of the Quran even into the English language. Different people. Yusuf Ali, Mami Duke Pickthall, you know, Darya Badi, and so on and on. We have English translations by different people. And there, the translation means a difference in the choice of words. Choice of words in translating a certain phrase from Arabic into English. Choice of words. Versions are quite a different thing. Look, here. I have in my hand this Bible, which Brother Swagat, as well as many Protestants, do not accept as the Word of God. This is the Roman Catholic version of the Bible, the Douay or Reims version of the Bible. This Bible has 73 books. This is an encyclopedia of 73 books, seven more than one. Or, which Brother Swagat takes oath on, the King James Version. This is the King James Version. He takes oath by it. In his Evangelist magazine, December 1985, somebody questions Brother Swagat about the Bible being the Word of God. And he says, Word of God, and in bracket, I refer to the King James Version. In your Evangelist of December 85, the King James Version. The King James Version has thrown out those seven extra books. Thrown out. In other words, those seven extra books, the, Christ, the Protestants do not accept as the Word of God. You use certain technical terms like, like Apocrypha, which the masses of Christendom do not know. What is this Apocrypha? Apocrypha means doubtful, weak, not deserve to be in the Book of God. As such, the Protestants threw it out as a fabrication. These seven books are thrown out from here. So this version, the Christian Protestants will not accept as the word of God. Am I correct? This is not the word of God. So we put it aside. I agree with you. What you tell me, I accept. You say it's not the word of God. I say I agree with you and I put it aside. Now you tell me that this is the word of God. The King James Version with his 66 books. This was first published in 1611 by order of His Majesty King James, whose name is still based today. Authorized version, authorized by who? Not God Almighty, 